Hello, welcome to Hook Legends, and thanks for watching today's show. So, um, I'm excited. Now, today's video, spoiler alert, I'm not going to be on the lake. I'm going to do something totally different. You know, I've been fishing for decades, and I've, I catch tons of fish and have caught tons of fish. But, um, all of those fish were actually cleaned, um, by using a cooler top as my fillet table and sitting on a five-gallon bucket or standing up okay but um today's video i'm going to show you how to put together a fillet table now i don't consider myself a, a um, highly skilled carpenter and um, i never built a fillet table before but i'm pretty um familiar with its design and how it should be set up i wanted something heavy duty that i could just permanently leave out in the rain so um I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting some of this up. Now, this isn't a carpentry show, so I'm going to tell you the parts, the length of the parts, and um, uh, is, I'm going to tell you how exactly each part of the table and where you should cut it. And uh, But I'm not going to show you all the details of me actually cutting. I actually have a table saw here, and um, I have a hand saw, and I also have a skill saw. So I haven't decided which one I'm going to use, but... This entire table is made out of two by fours, except some of the pieces on the top are made out of two by sixes. So I'm going to put up a parts list of everything you'll need to make this particular table. Now this table was supposed to be less than a $50 table, but right now um, wood is very expensive due to supply and demand. So the wood here end up actually cost me probably two or three times as much, you know, as I wanted to spend. But the end result is I'm going to have a nice table that I can come out here whether it's day or night and fillet or clean my fish. It's gonna be a nice setup, it's gonna be sturdy, and it's gonna be built to last for years. So um, I would also like to say thanks to all of our subscribers. You know, we're over 2,000 subscribers now. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I read each, and one, um, each of your comments. So with that being said, let's move on and let's get started building this table. So um, thanks for watching, let's get to it. Okay, so as far as the part list goes, um, what you're going to need in order to build this table, you're going to need five 2x4x10s, by by and you're going to need four 2x4x8s. My correction is, um, yes, correct, yeah. And you're going to need four 2x4x8s. You're also going to need four 2x6s by eight in order to build this table and i'll put this um i'll put this part list up again um so you can see it you're also going to need a one i'm sorry they call a two by two that little strip down there you're going to need a two by two um so you can attach a plate to the top of the table so your fish don't slide off you know when you go out there and you have one of those horrific days where you put in you know 40 50 fish you want to make sure they don't slide off the table when you put them up there so that's what that little strip is going to do is to hold a border around the um top of the table so with that being said, now I'm going to go ahead and um, start cutting up some of the material. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the very first step, which is making the legs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two 40 inch pieces out of each of the four um, 2x4s that I have. So that plus an inch and a half when I put the 2x6s um, across the top, it's going to bring my table to about 41 and a half inches. I'm not extremely tall, right around 5'11 or so. 5'11", maybe around 6", so I'm not extremely tall, so I'm going to make mine, I'm going to cut the legs at 40 inches. If you're tall, if you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you may want to make that a little bit longer. You can always cut them off, but you can also bury them down in the ground a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead, I'm going to measure these legs out, and um, once I get them cut out, I'll show you how I'm going to put them together. Okay, so, um, so we just completed cutting the um, 8 pieces of wood for the legs. So um, now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, two of the two by four by tens. I'm going to cut um, out of each two by four. I'm going to cut out two 60 inch pieces. So I'm going to do that in two of the boards, and I should end, and that'll give me four 60 inch um, pieces, which is going to make the horizontal um, board, the horizontal frame at the top and at the bottom on both sides of the table. All right, I just completed the um, cutting my four long side pieces for the top and bottom um, for the front and back. So um, now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so um, step three, the next step we're going to do is um, we're going to cut 
four pieces that are 29 inches long for the ends of the table at the top and the bottom. So I'm um, going to cut 29 inch pieces. Should be able to get four of those out of um, one of these 10 foot boards. So we're going to go ahead and cut that out. Alrighty, just completed that step. Now we're um, about to move to the next step. Okay, now we're on to the fourth step, which is um, cutting 32 inch pieces from the um, 2 by 6 by 8 boards. And um, that's going to give us enough to cover the, the top of the table. So um, let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, well, most of the cut is done. I, I will still need to come back and cut the splash boards um, in the end, but I'm going to put the top and everything on. So um, I couldn't wait. I want to get to the part of actually putting this together, and that is the um, pretty much close to the last step. So I, um, I'm going to close a room out here on this utility trailer. I use this utility trailer as a workbench. It's a huge workbench, but um, I'm going to go ahead and clear this utility trailer off. And then I'm going to start putting this thing together. I have probably two and a half hours before dark. I think I've probably been working on this for about an hour maybe. Cutting all of the um, pieces out. But um, it's ready to go together now. So let's jump to it. Okay, so now I'm starting the assembly. I'm going to start with the um, top frame. Make sure that when you're putting it together that the shorter pieces fit inside of the, of the longer pieces. Going to go ahead and um, start putting this together, and I'll show you what it looked like once I get it screwed together. Alrighty, just got the frame put together, the top portion of the frame all the way around. Now I, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the legs on. Once the legs get on there, the pay should pick up a little bit. Hey, I'm getting excited. Alright, it's coming together. So um, now I got to put the rest of the part of the frame around the lower part of the table. Um, I want to make sure that it's high enough that I can set a five gallon bucket or something in there in case later I want to come back and cut a hole in the top to put um, leftover fish remains over in the hole. So. Alright, got the frame together. Now to just the top and the backboards. This thing's getting kind of heavy, which is I'm glad because I wanted something heavy duty sturdy that wouldn't get blown around by the wind, knocked over by animals. Um, but since it's getting heavy, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this to its final resting place and then finish putting the top on it over there. So as soon as I get it over there, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm here to wrap up um wrap up this build. Now well guys you remember that um rain that I told you I thought was gonna be gone? Well it came and it stayed in here for a day or two. So through my um anticipated completion date off by just a little bit, but um 
the project is done and there's a couple of things I want to show you here to wrap up so this is what the finished product looks like and I'm going to get in here and um, show you a little bit closer up some of the features of this particular fillet table now remember when I left off there were two 10 foot pieces of 2x4's left one of those 10 foot pieces were used to go around the perimeter up here on the top all the way around and now it's sitting about three quarters a half an inch or three quarters of an inch up off of this top here and um, now I'm expecting a piece of starboard to come in to a, a piece that's two feet by two feet if I remember correctly um, because I want to make sure that this this is pressure treated wood and you don't want to put your food down directly on this pressure treated wood because I don't know if the process has changed but pressure treated wood used to be treated with arsenic and um, you don't want to put your food on that so I'm going to have a piece of food grade starboard to put on top of this to put the fish on now another one of the two by fours that I had left 10 foot long I took it to make this upright see those two uprights there and the purpose of this upright is to mount the board across the top so I can put a light on it now I have this light turned down right now um, because I got a silicone in right here around that hole I want a silicone in around that I've used these kind of lights this light is um, very very similar to the one I use for night fishing on my boat and it will get a little bit of water leakage down in there depends on which way it's turning so I'm gonna get some silicone and silicone that um and that's one of the the proud features i want to talk about before i get into that i just want to wrap up where the wood went so show you the back side of the table and once again you can see where the last piece of two by four went now the, the piece up here at the top is actually a piece of dog ear picket fence that i had left over um that wasn't included in my original list if you want something like this you need to add in that um dog ear picket fence and i went ahead and um a dog ear picket fence is only dog eared on one end and I went ahead and just cut the other end off to make the um, two sides to make those two sides match now um I also had enough of the two by sixes left over from the top because I wanted to do a shelf on the bottom now this shelf I don't have my cooler there now but I put a five gallon bucket on there and I also put the um, a cooler on there now I plan to when I'm using this I'm going to put a cooler up here on this side and I'm going to have some something over there on the other side that after I fillet the fish to put the fish in and you're going to see this I'm going to have some videos coming out here real soon of a um, catch cook and clean it's one of the reasons I'm building this table is I wanted something nice to do that video with um, now I also built this little board down here I had some leftover um, four by fours and some leftover wood from some other projects that I wanted to use so I built this because whenever you're standing in one place on dirt and waters involved you're going to have mud so I built this to stand up on now for me it also serves a second purpose um, it gives my give me something my wife can stand on to make her uh, make it a little bit easier for her to reach the top of the table I can also if you want something even higher than that then I can even build another box or something that's on top of that flat surface to kind of get it up off the ground back to the table I took the two by twos and that's what two by twos right here and you see that's what's actually supporting the two by fours all the way around I have three here in the back and two on each side give you a good see those two on each of the ends and um, there's three of them going across the back now one of the things I'm most proud of that light I have this light mounted up there and this particular light I picked up from tractor supply matter of fact let me show you what box you get a good view of that this is the particular light the box that it came in it's a 1500 lumen four and a half inch LED work light okay so this is I have some DeWalt tools and this is a 20 volt 
um, VMAX lithium ion DeWalt battery. It's what I use on my DeWalt tools. I ordered off of Amazon this adapter, and this adapter allows me to put the battery in the adapter and go to a power source. So I, um, with the battery that I, uh, with the light that I picked up from Tractor Supply, I simply plug this in and attach the battery to it and it has power so i'm going to stop right now and jump off and show you what this looks like at night i came out last night even though it was drizzling rain and whatnot i came out last night and took a picture of what this looks like in the dark so let's take a look at that right now all righty this is what it looks like out here in the dark um there's no light on the top of my camera so the light you see here is the light actually coming from the light above the table now i have a light over at the corner of my house way over there but um out here it's totally dark and this table is lit with just the um just the lighting from the light up there so this light is purchased from tractor supply i'll see if i can get you a picture of that and um what i have and i get you a date uh, daytime picture of this also but up here i just have my 20 volt dewalt battery attached to this light um it works out real good so um let me step up here so you can see what the table looks like so if you're if you're cleaning a fish right here i mean um you're getting pretty getting pretty good light out here i mean it is like totally dark all around us out here except for this particular light so um i'm very impressed with it now if i had to do this all over again i probably would choose a light that is square instead of round because i'm noticing like right over there in that far corner it's not as bright as it is here in the center the same thing in this corner and the same thing over in this corner now this is a fantastic camera i'm using so it's actually brightening up these corners as i look at them but in reality these corners are um, just a shade or two darker than the middle of this table but um all in all i'm very pleased with the nighttime light um this is going to give me the the ability to come out here at night and um clean some fish you know a lot of times you go fishing and when you get back it's dark and um you you saw those fish you want to taste those fish as soon as possible but um it's just not enough light outside and i don't like um e real electric power electricity where there's water and usually when i'm cleaning fish there's water around so um i just feel a whole lot safer i have um this is a battery powered once again 20 volt dewalt battery attached to this light so um i'm very pleased with it so far and, and um like i say it it is lighting up quite well lighting up very very good okay there's the light once the battery has been applied to it during the daytime and i'm going to walk around the back here now i just have two this is the battery pack actually um plugged in to the light there and um i don't know how waterproof this is. i don't know how waterproof the adapter is i don't want to leave it out here i really wanted to leave it out here and i may get some type of um electrical box to mount here to leave that in so all i have to do is attach the battery but what i do is i just have two little nails up there and this actually has nail a place to mount see those holes there actually has a place to mount so i just take this and just put it up there on two nails like that and um, it's perfect so um that is my light configuration okay guys i hope you found this video helpful and informative and um I would like to once again say if you like this video make sure you click like and subscribe make sure you click the notification bell so you'll be alerted when future videos are released make sure you subscribe because i'm about two and a half weeks away from having my bait line started and um, you will be required to be a subscriber to be eligible for those giveaways so uh, make sure you subscribe thanks for watching hook legend Alright, got a nice one here, one nice crappie to go in the cooler.